What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and it is time for us to talk about this Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns trailer where we got a mysterious character. We got an offensive death and we got a new big bad. So we got to talk about it. But first, I got to let y'all know that I am giving away three editions of Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns. All you got to do is drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. On September 20th, we will be doing a live stream where I pick three winners, two from YouTube, one from Twitter. Twitter information in the description, but let's get into this video. Run, run, boy. They're coming down. All right. Let's jump in and see if we can figure out what's going on with all of this madness. Or chaos. I guess we should go chaos. All right. So right off the top, we got a big question. Because who is this woman? So as you can see, we got the Earth Realm crew here. We have Sector, we got Cyrax hiding in the back. We got Kuala Yang, all Scorpion edition. We got Child's Play 3, Wartime Johnny Cage. And then there's this woman. Who is this woman? We can see an earring she has on. She has some type of thing around her forehead. We can see her hair. That shows she's a black woman. Uh, she's got these bracelets on. Looks like she's some type of queen. These pants look kind of green as well. Could this be Jade? I don't think it's Jade. If this was Jade, I don't see her being here without Kitana, Melina, Tanya, one of them. Why would they send her by herself? So I think she's still in Outworld doing her Countess Jade stuff. But who could this be? Could this be Liu Kang, Sonya Blade? <laughs> the outrage would be insane. I think this is definitely going to be an important character. It seems like she's the one in the know here, and she's leading them through this chaos. But is she a new character, or is she somebody reimagined? We don't see her anymore in this trailer, so I think this was deliberately done. They put her here at the beginning of the trailer to kind of tease us with something. She doesn't look like an NPC, so who got the Netflix treatment? Let me know who y'all think this is in the comment section. Now, before we continue, I'm going to tell y'all right now, Titan Havoc cuts one hell of a promo. Let's listen to this man. There are no sacred laws, no divine rules. We got to interrupt him here for a minute because we can see this looks like some type of destroyed coliseum. You can see all of this right here, but in the corner here, we'll see this more closely in a minute, but you can see all of the weakling Havocs just chilling in the corner over here. They literally plucked one of these scrubs out and just dropped them on the Mortal Kombat 1 roster. Uh, we see Havoc's throne right here. I mean, this is a terrible way to live. I guess he just sits on the throne and looks at all of this rubbish. And trust me, I understand wanting to see the world burn, but Havoc, we got to do better than this. I choose what is right. Now we see Divide. all of the scrubs. All of the scrubs minus one, because the best Havoc we've had so far is this Havoc from Mortal Kombat Deception. Loved him in Deception. Can't deal with him in Mortal Kombat 1. Pulled the power. Oh, man, he looks cool, too. I choose to bless all beings everywhere with anarchy. So good. Now you'll see this trailer is not happening in order because right here, he's got the chaos emeralds in his chest. Everywhere with. So this might be closer to the end. We also oh, reptiles on this island too. All right, so we got a reptile over there. I didn't even see that before. Anarchy. This new havoc is different from ours. See, right here, he does not have the chaos emeralds in his chest. But he does have his scrubs along with him with, um, I almost don't even want to say their names because I believe this is Takeda, but he also looks like Scorpion. And we got Kenshi on the side over there as well. He doesn't want now this is where it gets crazy. Geras has to be the strongest character in this universe right underneath Liu Kang because the man can't die where Liu Kang apparently can now. So if he takes Geras and he can kind of corrupt him and put Geras on his side, they got a problem. Freedom. He wants to burn everything. And here comes heartache and heartbreak. Down. All right. Now here we get a full look at Sector's face. Our first official full look at what she's going to look like. Now I've kind of... 
I've kind of sat on this for a while. Sector and Cyrax are now women. Now, originally, I didn't care. They look like robots. Does it even matter? I'm actually more interested now to see what they look like when they aren't in these robotic skins. But Kuala Yang said something very interesting during the story. What are you doing? Once he's exposed, won't you be made Grandmaster? You forget Cyrax and Sector. Their loyalty to Bihan is absolute. They'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me. Now, when Kualiang said that, in my mind, I thought, whoo, Sector and Cyrax, they're going to be a problem this time. But it turns out, Sector, she is a problem because she's a seasoned vet, but Cyrax is just like a young student in training. Not only that, when Bihan pulls up for war, he's got Sector on one side, he's got Cyrax on the other side, and he's got Frost on the other side. My boy is pulling up with the worlds. Well, he would have been. Let's just continue. Let real warriors handle this. Now you see, she's got some futuristic Lin Kuei equipment here. Lin Kuei on the back even. Now these I thought were dreadlocks. I think they're supposed to be stylized like dreadlocks, but I think these are like just cords. So if they hook their heads up to whatever, you can plug them in. I don't know what's going on with these young ladies. But they are tearing up Earth Realm. We are out of the chaos realm here. And apparently, ah, Lin Kuei fighting with the monk. No mercy. Now, we see she's beating up Raiden here. So this shows, I guess they're not happy what happened between um, Kualiang and Bihan. So they're there to avenge Kualiang, or I don't know what's going on. They're saying it's Scorpion's fault. Something Scorpion's fault. Let's see. My Boom, we got Cyrax. I mean, not much really to touch on with Cyrax design because it looks just like Sector's. Pretty much the same thing. My will is unbreakable. Beating the monks down. I see a lot of people mad about this. That's what I don't care about. The future is chaos. Oh. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Must embrace it. You sound like Bihan. I am here. Now, I don't know if that was Sector or Cyrax that said you sound like Bihan, but uh, he looks great, though. I know I see a lot of people mad about the green stuff in him. I guess that's the chaos flowing through his veins, but I'm not mad at it at all. I like the green. I think it's a nice contrast to the black. So in the background here, we got Johnny Cage. We got looks like Scorpion, Raiden, and probably Kenshi. As you remember. It's not Bihan as we remember. What did Havoc do to you? He perfected me. All right, first real nice look at Bihan here. The pirate hat, sure, I can see it. Uh, at first, I see more of a Qualiang hat for Mortal Kombat 11, but yeah, I can see the pirate hat. But he's also got these Black Panther fingers going on. And to the people mad about the green in his chest, I'm sure you'll be able to change it with palette swaps and stuff like that, so relax. But let's see. You remember. What did Havoc do to you? He perfected me. So he said Havoc perfected him. I don't like it. I do not like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. We could have left Bihan as him for like at least two more games before this happened. I feel like we're rushing into things now. The man had a great run in Mortal Kombat 1 story and you just kill him off immediately. The best character in Mortal Kombat 1 if you ask me. The best character in Mortal Kombat history when it comes to personality and just the pride of a man. You built something great here and you just knocked it down immediately. Missed opportunity. And who's going to be our new Sub-Zero? You already gender swapped Cyrax and Sector. Bold decision. I'm not mad at it. You can't go back on it now. But if you're going to get rid of our Sub-Zero, 
and replace him with Frost, you gone too far. You gone way too far. That's Sub Zero for Mortal Kombat three levels of bad. I don't know what the plan is. I keep seeing y'all say Hanzo Asashi is going to be the new Sub Zero. It's not possible because he was not born with the ice powers what they're probably going to do is something like they did with raiden Liu Kang gave raiden that um lightning amulet now he has lightning powers they better not give somebody that sub-zero amulet what is it called the grandmaster amulet or whatever they better not give that to somebody and give them ice powers and make them our new sub-zero why'd y'all kill behan so much story to tell but without killing Bihan, you don't get the moment like this. The ultimate showdown between two brothers. Bihan, you gotta beat him this time. And I think he will. Because it looks like we're using Bihan in this fight. Shang Tsung, now this havoc. Uh-oh. First Shang Tsung, now this havoc. I think Shang Tsung's gonna be a lot different than this havoc is. Because if you look, this man has the Kami Dogu in his chest. Now everybody doesn't know what the Kami Dogu is. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So what are the Kami Dogu? If you play Mortal Kombat Deception, and I'm pretty sure you know, Shujinko wasted his whole life collecting these things for Onaga so he could beat the hell out of everybody. But the Kami Dogu are mystic relics crafted by the Elder Gods, which are said to contain the essence of the realms. When used in sorcery, they are said to have incredible power that can make and unmake all of reality. The power of each Kami Dogu can only be fully used by one individual. So if one were to make use of the Kami Dogu, this person has to Use all six Kami Dogu into one Kami Dogu. That's a lot of Kami Dogus. Wielded by the wrong hand, the Kami Dogu could endanger existence itself. Now, it looks like in this trailer, they went to the Chaos Realm. It doesn't look like they're in Earth Realm anymore. So, I guess whatever uh, Havoc had going on over there was enough to trigger Liu Kang to be like, yo, we gotta go over there and figure out what's going on and put a stop to it. Now... There is one more Kami Dogu connected to surpass all of the other Kami Dogus as it embodies the essence of not just one realm, but all of the universe. Now y'all, this part is scary because I hope this is not introduced in Mortal Kombat 1. That final Kami Dogu turned out to be the sacred amulet, which is the amulet of Shinnok. NetherRealm Studios. NetherRealm Studios, NetherRealm Studios. Please do not introduce Shinnok in this universe. If you're going to do it, please, just don't do it right now. Give me two more shinnok games and then you can have fun, but I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't wait for the next game knowing that Shinnok's going to be there. So let's just keep Shinnok's amulet in the tuck for right now and let's bring back Onaga, please. Please. Now that you know about the Kami Dogu, take a look at Havoc's chest. He has all six pieces. So is there somewhere in this realm where Havoc has his own Shujinko? Will we be introduced to that character? Because who is the idiot that helped Havoc get these pieces? It's going to be a mess. This man is as strong as Onaga was in Deception. So Havoc is definitely going to be a formidable foe. But don't forget about Garrus. Because we saw what Havoc did to Bihan. If he does that same thing to Garrus then Garrus is going to be a bigger problem than he ever was with Kronika. Now this havoc. This would be amusing. I wonder if Luke Kang got there late. Oh, they're in Outworld right now. Mm. Have they been in Outworld the whole time? I guess, because uh, the Mortal Kombat 1 story ended with that Armageddon pillar, and they were in Outworld when that happened. It's definitely time for the story recap series. Boom! We got Cyrax's face, and as you can see here, it seems like she is very young. I want to see her without all this get up on. I want to see what she's really, what's really going on. Because she looks like a young girl right here. From these titans never cease. Was that okay? That's a havoc gears. Wait a minute, is that the powered up gears though? I don't know. That could be our noob side about gears, but it might not. It might just be one of the scrubs. Boom! Another look at Child's Play Three wartime Johnny Cage. Tell me. 
our battle of the century. It disgusts me. All right. So apparently Scorpion's having a wedding. So he's marrying Harumi. But why is Cyrax crashing the party? So Kwali Yang says, it disgusts me how you corrupted the Lin Kuei. But I'm not going to say Cyrax is a bad guy because Kwali Yang just doesn't understand how this thing's supposed to work. But if you look at Cyrax back here, she does have these little tubes. I think that's where the big gook snot stuff comes that she throws out. It's not a net anymore. Oh, you've corrupted. Now we see these two fighting here. Are they training or are they actually getting down? Maybe Cyrax says, you know what? I am going to follow Beyond. And Sector is like, you know what? We probably shouldn't do that. I don't know. But they do have the unwavering loyalty, whatever Scorpion said towards him. So they could just be training here. The Make no mistake. We are here because of your treachery. I mean, she ain't lying. He definitely did betray the clan. He's supposed to ride or die no matter what. If Noob Saibot is a bad guy who's working for Havoc, why is he killing Havoc's guys? We just saw him earlier fighting Havoc's gears as well, so what's going on here? I'm telling y'all, Bihan was never a bad guy, but it looks like Noob Saibot might be the same thing. Maybe, if you think about, again, we're going to refer back to Vegeta. Think about Majin Vegeta. Vegeta wasn't really a bad guy, but he wanted to unlock his potential, so he got the Majin symbol on his forehead. And even though he was Majin Vegeta, he was still killing the bad guys. He was just kind of trying to kill the good guys too so maybe Bihan is still kind of like a neutral party he's like bro i'm not working for you i just wanted you to unlock this power in me now i'm gonna kill everybody i'm gonna kill your guys and i might kill some of my guys too but i'm still not a bad guy i just need to do what needs to be done interesting stuff going on here with Bihan. i mean i just wish he stayed sub-zero i love noob side about the death definitely number two in my character book but Bihan was the best Sub-Zero we ever had. Now, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here because he's about to do this guy kind of dirty. And then finally we see Havoc. With all the Kami Dogus coming together, glowing, apparently they have been activated. There will be blood. I love it. I love it. I love the crazy psycho characters. All right, y'all. Can Havoc pull this off? A very interesting trailer. Leads us into a lot more questions than we get answers. Who was the woman at the front of the trailer? Why did they have to kill Bihan? What's going on at Scorpion's wedding? Is Harumi going to stay alive or will she die just like when she was with Hanzo? If so, Hanzo didn't deserve her anyway because he couldn't protect his woman. Too much going on here, y'all. I need y'all to tell me in the comment section what I missed. And let me know what your excitement level is for Chaos Reigns. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. Don't forget to drop a like on it and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And never forget, there will be blood. Mm -hmm.